What is going on? Gaming with Bacon here, bringing you another gameplay video. This is part of our Free Game Friday. This game is uh, Cards with a K. It's developed by 1939 Games. It's a World War II strategy game that uses decks of cards and a little bit of uh, strategic elements, kind of a rock, paper, scissors uh, mechanic. Uh, let's jump into a trading game here and then I'll uh, go over how the game works. So let's pick our Soviet deck. I think that's the deck that I have the most cards for. And then let's uh, find an opponent to play against here. So given this is a, just a training game, it's just going to be against AI, but you can also play against uh, real players online. Uh, so far there's been a lot of players to play against and a uh, pretty active community. Um, so right now any cards that are going to be too costly to play, like this 5, I'm going to take off. And I think that's looking pretty good. We've got some good opening cards. Uh, it only costs uh, 2 to play them, so I'll keep those. Oh, and we got a 1. Perfect. Okay. So it's my turn, but I only have... Uh, So this is only going to affect units that are on the board. Uh, the enemy doesn't have any uh, cards on the board, so this card won't do anything. So there's no cards I can play right now, so I'm just going to end turn. Alright. Okay, so he's putting down a tank. Once the tank gets to the front line here, it can start attacking. But when it's back here, it can attack. Okay, so... I'm going to play this T70 because it has guard. Guard can protect units, so you have to kill it before you can damage units beside it, which uh, is quite good. So not only do cards cost um, points to play them on the board, it also costs points to move them. Okay, so his tank you can see moved to the front line and then was able to shoot me. So it's important to take and hold the front line, because then you kind of control the flow of the game. Okay. So this card has a bit of a negative effect, but it's a very good card. So it's going to do two damage to myself, but once it's on the board, I can do some serious damage with it. So I'm going to go ahead and play that. Okay, this is where get things get interesting because you got some serious options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give minus three attack, if I can, to these this unit. So now that plane can't really attack me, and then I'm going to move him to the front line, and that's still going to give me two k left to put something else down. And I think I'm going to put down this Panzer Grenadier because he can move and attack in the same turn. So I'll be able to, or wait, how does it work? Effects, okay. Im oh, infantry, okay. So I guess the effects. Infantry can only attack into the next battle line, okay. There we go, we've killed that aircraft unit. That, that was really good. And... I think I'm going to kill this artillery because it's just its going to keep picking me off here. Okay, now we got 2k left. So let's just, yeah, let's just put down a BT-7. Alright, so far so good. Okay, he's killed my unit there. And he's got a couple units on the board. Oh, he's got quite a few units on the board. So I might have to get a little more defensive here. Okay, this might be a good defensive unit to play at this point. Yeah. 
so I'm going to let him spend points getting units to the front line, and then I'll kill those units. Or, I'll try to. <laughs> okay, so we've got this fighter here. We can, hmm, could kill that, but it's a bit of a trade-off. This card is nice because it has Blitz, so it can attack in the same turn it enters the battlefield, which is going to be quite good here. So I can take this out and still have some good amount of health left. There we go. I probably should have attacked one of the other units, but oh well, I think I'm still in a decent position. Oh, that's a good card. Wow. Okay. So, let's see. What can I pick off here? I can kill this and still have my aircraft alive. So that's a good trade. I can use this guy to kill this guy, but that's not really a great trade. I guess I'll just do that. Ooh, and then I got 4k. So let's move him to the front. And let's play him because it's going to help to draw some cards and have some more options. There we go. Usually I get a better start than this, so I'm kind of kind of coming off the back foot here. Okay, this is interesting. You can combine it with different things. Hmm. Let's see. I can kill this plane, or I can start doing some damage to his headquarters, which I think I'm going to do. I think that's kind of smart at this point. Okay. There, that guard unit is going to protect these two units on either side. That seems alright. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's a lot of strafing damage. Holy cow. Is just pounding the crap out of me. Wow. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll use this bloody sickle to injure this guy. And then I'll use the guard to finish him off. And then Deal three damage. Might be good to take this guy out because he does a lot of freaking damage. Okay. Again, this is going to deal damage to my own base, but in the interest of getting stuff out on the field, I think it's going to be good. So it's it's been actually pretty tight. This is uh, actually a pretty close game so far. So hopefully I get a win at the end here. But hopefully this gives you at least an idea of how the game works. It's actually a lot of fun. And uh, it's kind of got that rock, paper, scissors with a little bit more depth. And uh, the, the World War II theme is great. The artwork is awesome. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so this is going to be a good unit. To, oh, I can't kill that. Sudden strike. Oh, maybe I can only kill infantry or land units. Okay, I'll kill that guy there. Nice. Okay. And I'll move these guys up. There we go. Ooh. Man, those aircraft are really taking me down. And I'm starting to run out of cards, so... 
Kind of gone full suicidal, so this is a great opportunity to get some damage on his base here. And this guy is actually pretty good. Holy cow! Okay, feeling a little bit better now. We're in a much better position. Uh, this artillery is a little annoying, but uh, could be worse. Ooh, doing a lot of damage to that guy. Oh, nice. Perfect. And he's got Blitz. This is great. Okay. So, let's do big damage to the headquarters. Finish off that artillery. And let's bring him up and uh, Blitz that as well. And we're looking really good now. Wow. The game has really changed, turned around here. So, it's really good. So not only does this game have uh, practice skirmishes against AI, it's got the online against the real players, and it's got uh, different campaigns that you can play. So there's a lot, lot to get out of this game, and it's not really pay to win. You can buy cards, uh, like card packs, um, but uh, you don't have to. Um, for the longest time I just played with the free to play version of the game, and I felt very competitive. But, uh, yeah, there's our first victory. And we just leveled up to level 10. And we got a new card pack for the Soviets, which is great. So let's, uh, let's open up that pack and see what we got. Okay. So we got the 173rd guard rifles. Not a bad card. It's nice and cheap. Uh... This card I like a lot, because he's got a really good attack and a lot of hit points. No retreat. Okay, not bad. Oh, a T60. Awesome. I don't think I had one of those. So that's really good. So this is nice. When this card dies, you get a, a T34 added to your hand. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, not a bad set of cards there. That definitely adds to my deck. So you can click on here there's different missions so you can uh, by completing these different missions you get rewards and there's also the campaigns that you can play uh, Al Alamein really cool battle from Moscow follow the Philippines Guadalcanal Tunis com campaign very cool so and I, I suspect there'll be more campaigns coming out um, as the game progresses here so Overall, I've really enjoyed this game. Uh, for a free-to-play game, I definitely highly recommend it. If you enjoy strategy games or World War II games, uh, definitely give this one a try. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.